Hey guys, welcome to a real life swingers club. We are in Nashville, Tennessee, and this club has been operating for three months. This is the theater group, and I am joined by the lovely Andy from Double Date Nation and Angie from Average Swingers. And I'm Kate from the Wanderlust Swingers podcast. We're going to take you through this club. We're going to show you the playrooms. We're going to show you all the naughty bits, but mostly we're going to show you what a real swingers club looks like on the inside. So come and join us. Alright, so this is the area where you mingle, kind of hang out, talk to everybody. You can reserve these spots right here and let's go this way and I'll show you some dance floor stuff. Alright, so this is open seating, all these little chairs and tables around the actual dance floor. This is first come first serve. The nice thing about this club too is you can reserve these side mingling areas and then you've got your main VIP area at the front of the stage and you've got your other VIP area over here to my left. It's these sexy little white chairs and couches. My favorite area of a club is the dance floor. I like to people watch. So even if you're not necessarily in the dancing mode or you don't dance at all, it's just a great spot to sit back and kind of observe everything. Um, the nice thing too about this club is when you come in, you see the mingling area and you see kind of a safer area to come to. So you're not walking right into playrooms and like action, like it's not over sensory overload. All right, now that we've seen the dance floor, come with me to the bar area. A lot of clubs, check with your local club, but a lot of clubs are BYOB or bring your own drinks. Um, this club has mixers, so make sure to tip your bartender because they're making your drinks so sweet and yummy. Speaking of sweet and yummy, look at these ladies. <laughs> if you're coming with a group of friends, you can also reserve this main group VIP area. So this is the ultimate people watching, very sexy colors and pillows and lighting and lots of room to take a break, have a drink, check out what's happening in the club. So yes, we're definitely going to the bathroom because this is one of the best bathrooms I've ever been in and I came here first thing because I really like the bathroom and I really had to be. So I want to walk into the bathroom and you're going to love it. So are you ready? We're going to walk into the bathroom. It is your own staging area. You can come in and get pretty and if you leave the house as a mom, you can leave the club as a slut. It's really, really, really great. I love it. And then you have your bathroom area, which is sectioned off, which as it should be sectioned off. And then you come in here, you have two stalls. You don't need more than two, most girls share, right? Yes. You have your water stage, and this is my favorite. There's a pineapple. You open the pineapple, and you can freshen yourself with your breath. Yes, and it's pink and it's perfect. Yes, you like, you're like really pretty. So I love it, right? So you come out here, and then we're gonna go to the playrooms where the single men can join. This is the only section of the club where the single men can be. So this is the section of the club where single men can be. And it's a good, like, solid section and there's a lot of things to do in here so they're not really missing much but they're also not really necessarily interacting with all the other couples so in this area you have two private playrooms and as playroom etiquette goes that you should definitely if the door is closed not enter if it is ajar you can peek in and if they wave you in or wait for some sort of verbal or physical consent before you join in a room. There's one playroom that's private and there's another private playroom. And this is essentially an open area where you can sit and wait, be consensual again, men, single men. This is a good spot for you to maybe hang out and then see what you like, see what's available and see what you want. And then that's where the single guys can be. This is the only section of the club where the single guys can be. Only section of the club where the, this is also where you get good consent. <laughs> You're gone. 
Okay, guys, one of the most important parts of a club, aside from the bartenders, is the DJ. Let's have a look over here. So the DJ, why they are important is because they're the people that are gonna set the tone for people moving and grinding on the dance floor that Andy showed you earlier and checking that body language to see whether or not you actually wanna go back here in the playrooms. They have a resident house DJ that plays every night that they're open at this club and you can actually even take requests. So if there's something that definitely gets you in the mood, you've got to head over here to the DJ, ask for that, and then get that booty out on the dance floor and make stuff happen. Now, come with me because we're gonna go have a look at more playrooms. Okay guys, so this is the back area, also called a playroom in a club. Now this one is very special because like what Angie mentioned before with the single gentleman area, this is for couples and single ladies. There will always be a security guard on the door to make sure that people are coming back here who should be back here. And I wanna show you around all the different facets that this playroom or play area has to offer. So come with us for a little show. Angie talked to you earlier about private playrooms and there's even more in this section. And as mentioned before, you can keep the door open, you can close it. It is up to you how you wanna play and be seen or not seen. Now, the interesting thing about swingers clubs or clubs in general, particularly when people are going to play, are things like hygiene and safety. And this club actually supplies all of your condoms, wipes, towels, everything here is wiped down and sanitized. So you can be sure that when you're coming into play, you're gonna remain healthy and happy if you get that big O before you leave the club. So the next important part of this section is the viewing chairs. These are really great if you wanna be in a sexy environment and have a conversation with a couple. Maybe get a little bit touchy-feely before you head into those playrooms. And if you wanna be a voyeur, these are great for you. You can watch people coming and going.